That belongs in a museum. Sugar. You could probably play these together with Innervate, because mm -hmm. it's really important for this not to die after a trade. This becomes a 3-5. Yeah, it's not a bad. 3-5 and a 4-4. Four, four. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, thank god. <laughs> Almost got flown out. Yeah, and then next turn we'd play this into this. So yeah. I like it, and then the turn after we go this. So everything Let's lines do it. up. Yeah. Take a walk on the wild side. All right, so not really much discussion going on there from Cloud9. It feels like they're all firing on all fronts to be, yeah. able to be in unison for base off their mana. Very relieved there to see that no secret was played in combination with the Kirin Thor Mage. And uh, here we see Wild Walker once again coming uh, in action, being very powerful with that uh, plus three health uh, buff. We saw it in the first matches as well with, when my team uh, kind of took control of the early game with that buff on a beast. In this sealed format, it just seems like a great card. In Arena, it's, it might sometimes be hard to have enough beasts for it, but it, it seems like uh, in sealed, you can have enough to consistently get the buff off. Yeah, that's a really good analogy, you know, what comparing to it to the Arena, where a lot of times in Arena, you, you have to evaluate the synergy based off what you already have versus what you might think you might get, so it's not always guaranteed. But in sealed, you open up 240 cards, so you have to be really like, likely for synergy there. Polymorph on a two-drop there. That might come back to bite them in the end. I don't. I don't know how much I. I like that. I would maybe prefer to see maybe, maybe something like a fallen hero end up being maybe trading the four G for the four four. One of three ways. One where it's a great spell for one team, maybe BMK. A great spell for Cloud9, or it's even. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, I'm liking the item forge puzzle slightly more, but if you hit the far side on something impactful. <laughs> That can turn yeah. the game around, but they, they yeah. have already a lot of their late game, and it's quite possible wow. they're only gonna get a two chop from it. Double Iron Bark Protector, that is going oh to be my. huge walls. And I was looking at the late game for BMK, I was like, wow, another North Sea Kraken. Yeah, I mean, this is the moment tough. where they like, have to, if you BMK game, you just have to look back on that decision to use the Polymorph on that, uh, on yeah. that Raptor. <laughs> I feel like that's going to cost them the game. Yeah. Let's go ahead and listen in to BMK and see how they're adapting to this situation. Yeah. Yeah. Because next turn we're gonna flame strike. He has to. He can't just play a big creature into this. Mm -hmm. No one does. Now. Yeah. He's just. He's playing. Like, they're gonna. They're gonna have to test with a small minion, and we can. And then we'll strike yeah, yeah. most likely. Yeah. And then we still have the, the defense up for the, the Iron Bar Protector as well. Even if Iron Bar loses, a Kraken cleans up. Yeah, it's true. Alright. Hey, ooh, that's... Please. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, never mind. Uh, actually, it doesn't deal enough. It, it, does, it doesn't do enough, which is sad, oh. but... It's... No! I mean, we still... We still no, 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 wait. Can we think? I mean... There's nothing else. Well, I there mean, is. You, could, you could ping this and, like... But then, like, the, you know, we're still just, like, we can't kill this, too. Like, if we had some way to do that, I think we just have to cast it still. You, you can ping this and play the Conjurer. Yeah, but then, like, if this do. this hits this, then is this is just around to... Go face and vape. No, 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 this, like, assuming they would do that, sure. But if this if this also sticks around, they have a swipe. It's like, yeah. you know, or a wrath or something. I don't I don't think we can leave that up. I, don't I think, think doing this is the best. Yeah, I think it's too greedy to try and to try and do something else. Is I think it? It's, it uh, yeah, yes. I think so. <laughs> yes. What? But our hand's so good. Spell too. But our hand's so good. Right, we, like, but like, yeah, we, we have such a powerful late game. game. Like, we, you know, yes, this, you okay, know, we don't okay, get, we don't okay, get okay, to like, okay, okay. this is exactly what we set up for. Let's, <laughs> we should do it despite the <laughs> Whatever, this turns into Ice Barrier instead of Vaporize, right? Yeah, exactly. Which is fine. But it's, no, it's still Vapor. It's still, we don't have to pick this. Like, we still just get to use our mana doing these things. Yeah, I mean, I wanted it to be the dream too. Not enough. I think our head could, could, you know. If you cloud nine, you're definitely counting your outs here, and uh, they don't think they have enough cards to trade up win the game, so they're going to try to fight for the board instead. That's really telling of a lot of stuff to BMK Gaming and what their deck does and doesn't have. Oh, man, so Bill Bender. That would be effective against Swipe if they went for the Swipe play. Yep. Oh, that's uh, not deal. so big of a deal right now, but it's a great card to have access to. Yeah, I think this is the turning point for uh, BMK. Look like they're going to do this to plant so their lead. Scare him, Cultist. Big bomb here. 7-6 coming in. It's going to be hard for Cloud9 to deal with it. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't think you polymorph here. It's fine to just trade in the two twos, saving the poly for uh, for another potential big yep. threat. Two iron bucks were played, two volcanic lumberers, but there could be some legendary minions yep. too, like a dragon of some sort. One thing that is nice oh. though, if they yeah, choose to the polymorph, interesting. They, they did see one mind control tech already from yep. the druid, so less chance of that coming to strike them in the bud. This might work out. I mean, there is no big threat right now, but even in case they top deck one, it's a bit of a gamble using the poly there, but. It just might work out. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Speaking of big bombs, well. that fit in perfectly with the mana curve. Yeah, and now BMK, like, BMK gaming and picking up. <laughs> They're polymorph, polymorph timings. Be pretty nice here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot of damage, but no lethal just yet. With the minions on the board and the fallen hero, additional damage from the hero power at 15, I believe. Okay. Uh -huh. Very uh, normal outcome here coming yeah. out. Just trying to protect their taunts and make sure that your monger can't do anything fishy. Yep, just, just setting up the lethal here. Spellbender also very useful in case a swipe was picked up. Looking good. And uh, tempoing out the polymorph laster. Oh, wow. Oh. Big taunts. Well, that should keep them alive. At least for should. one more turn. I think they're afraid of mere entity, but they can't really play around no. that. I mean, they just die on the board if they, <laughs> if they choose to do that. Shape shift in first. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't think even if they found out it was not Ice Barrier. Yep. And that Thorn is going to deny little for now, but there's so many cards they can get from the top. I don't think that's one of them. No, it doesn't look like it uh, do translates anything. to much here. Too much health on the board from the Druid side. Yep. And uh, now they actually have to make full trades, or otherwise the, the Jormungar is going to kill them on the backswing. Oh, it rises! Wow. This game is not over yet for no. now. Although, I wonder if the Spellbender is going to be useful in case Druid picks up another ability to deal with it. Wrath, for example, wouldn't kill the 7-1. Yep, yeah, there's that Spellbender. They have to kill it. And Druid has to kill the 7-1 because wow. of the threat of it on the other side. This, this is so close. Is so close right now. What is the next draw? This might decide it. Fair wow. Rage allows One them to damage. set up lethal if they want to do so, but there's so many... Wow, this is so tough. They're, right they're now. worried about ice block. They're worried about you ice be listening block. in listening to a Cloud9 what they think about the Feral Rage. We do it. What? Otherwise we lose to Ice the Barrier. No. We already tested it. The other way is like here part armor for eight, but I don't think we'll win like that. No, we won't. Because you're still gonna die to burn if you don't. How armor. ridiculous would it be if that's not ice block? It's not ice block. They signaled it's not ice block by trying to play around it getting popped instead of yeah. lethal. Killing themselves. Nice. Dead. We did it! Oh my god! We won? Yeah. I, what? Yeah. Silly control deck with 15 spells. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So a lot of a lot of fun going back and forth between Cloud9 members. They are super relieved to get on the board. They're really grindy matchup there. What a game once again. That was game two and <laughs>